I can't believe we're here. Bags did not make it. It's because it was so crazy. We sprinted from our last flight, but we made it. Now we are entering the sandals experience. Oh, whoa, okay. Who's excited? I'm excited. I got my water and plantain chips. I just got them for you because I know you love them. We're here. We're here? Wait, this is so nice. Look at it. We have a BMW transfer. I don't think we've ever had a BMW transfer. Thank you. I thought that was just an armrest. Grapes, so I got some cheese. Good morning, we just woke up here in Jamaica at our overwater bungalow. Breakfast just came and so we're going to enjoy that while we wait for our bags, hopefully, to come in today. We got smoothies, we've got some fresh fruit and grilled veggies, grilled tomato. We're heading out now to the spa because our luggage hasn't arrived yet. For now, these are the outfits we have. Yeah, I've just got my nice little lounge pants that I always travel in. And this is this is about it. I can't believe we're here. So the setup here is pretty amazing. It's in a heart shape. I know. How many other bungalows are there in the Caribbean? There's not that many. This is one of the few ones in the Caribbean and it is so special. It really is so cool. Heading up to the spa, right? Was it good? It was so good. My hair is like everywhere, but I'm just so relaxed. So when they ended it, they actually ended it with us holding hands, but our eyes were closed. So we didn't realize that we were holding hands. I honestly thought that the massage therapist was holding my hand and just <laughs> I chilling. I knew it was Davis, and so I started holding his hand. And I liked it. I thought it was really special. I love ending the massage that way. We've never had it before. It was really special. If I knew that for next time, that would be good. <laughs> You gonna play? Yeah, I'm gonna beat you. Beat me at what? What? Okay, bring it on. Jenga. It's on. So Davis won that round, <laughs> but I'm gonna challenge him to connect four. I am not good at connect four, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. It was pretty close, and then there was actually a malfunction in the connect four game. So, yeah, we'll blame it on the malfunction. There was a malfunction, Sydney says technical difficulties. So we'll leave that as a Davis wins one, Sydney wins zero, and Connect Four wins one. But now we're gonna jump back into our golf cart with Kevin, who is our butler, and head back to our place. now going to show you our room. So come on. 
Okay, so first up, this is our kitchen area. So we've got like coffee maker, tea, fully stocked with all the drinks you could want. This is our bungalow. So this is our bed, which is nice and big. One of the coolest parts, it's a glass bottom so you can see down into the fish. So it's like you're just connected with the ocean the whole time. And then we have our closet area here, bathroom, indoor shower, and outdoor shower. And then outdoor bathtub. This is our favorite part. So we wanna show you, this is the view we wake up to every morning. We've got nets over here to just hang out on. So they also have this little bin that has snorkel gear and fins and life jackets so you can just like jump right out there. You've got everything you need. And this is a cooler. And so you can keep drinks cold, keep them out here during the day. Personally, I like room temperature water. I know I'm weird. And over here is our table. It's just been so nice to have it our own private little like dinners and breakfasts. And then down here, there's another lounger to hang out on. You've got a dock access and a little swimming hole there. And then over there is the rest of the resort. And then over there is where we get sunset every night. Something else super nice is they actually have a butler phone. If you want to order things, if you want to go to a spa, if you want to do catamaran, all you have to do is just text your butler and then they can arrange it all. so excited because our bags came. We're going to be going crazy with photos and adventures tomorrow now that we finally have our things and our clothes and so tonight we just ordered some salads, we've got some grilled veggies and we are trying the plantains tonight because we've heard Jamaica is like known for them with all the different dishes that they do so we're excited to try them. So we are going to eat dinner and then we will be up early tomorrow. Yesterday morning we had breakfast over on the netting and today we're going to have it at the table. Breakfast is honestly my favorite part of the day because they bring it out and we get to enjoy the early sun. So we have our breakfast here and we look out on the deck onto this gorgeous view of the ocean. seat in the house. One of the favorite things about this bungalow is that we are facing directly south with a little bit of smidge of east in there. <laughs> Southeast. And we love it because you get to see both sunrise over there and sunset. So I think this is the best bungalow in the whole property. It's 6009. If you come here, I would request this one because it's just got spectacular views. Honestly, any of these bungalows are pretty awesome, but if you can get one that gets sunrise and sunset, I think you're doing pretty well. During the nighttime, you can watch on the floor and you can see like all the fish going through and like some of them are pretty big. Like, like really big, like four feet big.
it just started raining outside, but we really wanted to go try some of the restaurants here. So we're gonna go anyways. We got umbrellas for us though, and they pick us up in a golf cart, so I think it should be okay. It was raining really hard. We've still got like three other nights here. We're gonna eat in tonight. We're having a lot of grilled veggies. We are hooked on the plantains. We have them every night now. We've got sweet potatoes and even some guacamole. Bon appetit. <laughs> Good morning, it's our last morning here at the bungalow. I'm super sad about it, but there's a bubble bath here and I haven't had a chance yet to try it out. So I'm going to draw a bath and I'm gonna see if I can even get Davis to come and do it with me. We just checked out of our room on the overwater bungalows. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay there forever. We have new guests coming in, so we had to leave in the morning, and our other room wasn't quite ready yet. So we've actually come down to the beach to these bungalows here, and it is incredible. Look at this water, it's so blue. And Sydney's already enjoying herself. And you even got coconut water? What? what? They've got the whole set up here. So Sandals South Coast is actually quite a large resort, but if you're out here on the overwater bungalows, there's not that many people, and you have these cabanas here where there's pretty much no one. They have a lot of larger buildings and areas that are a lot more populated, but if you do choose to come to these bungalows, you're gonna have a pretty private space with your own butler, and it's pretty deluxe. We've been loving it so far. We're moving into this next spot, the Rendezvous Suites, which we really don't know much about, but everyone that works here, Every time we tell them we're going there, they all just go, oh my gosh, you're gonna love it. We'll see. This is our spot for the day. So our room is finally ready. This is the new Rondeval room, we were just informed, and we're the first ones actually to stay in here. So it's a super cool shape, it's like all in a circle. And so first is the bathroom. We got a nice big tub, toilets over there, that's not too exciting. And then we've got the indoor shower right next to the outdoor shower. So if one shower wasn't enough, <laughs> and then you can go back inside. And this is the main room area. Look how cute. Capture the moment, one love. And then you've got this nice bed here. And then they brought us a fruit platter. You've got like a lounge area to chill and wait for it. How cool. So we've got a mini plunge pool here. The Rondo Valls are actually part of a village and that's what this pool does is it connects all the other places together. And so I'm gonna show you a little tour around that lagoon, what that looks like. So it's pretty cool. You have all these little village homes, I guess, is what you could see it as, and everyone is kind of sharing that same lagoon, yet it's still private enough to enjoy your time to yourself and have some seclusion. We decided to come out and try one of the restaurants tonight, and we came to the Mediterranean one. It's called Neptune's. We've been eating food in our room for every night that we came, and so we're like, we've gotta get out and try it because they've got nine different restaurants on the property, and so we knew we had to come and check some out. Got a Greek salad, and it is so
so good. Surprise, we got grilled veggies again. Good morning. Good morning. It is the next day and we are out walking around exploring the property in the quiet of the sunrise. And we found our favorite tree of the whole property. An old kissing tree. So every time you walk under it, they got signs. You have to give your loved one a kiss. <laughs> so here at South Coast, they have the area broken up into the Dutch, the French, the Italian, overwater bungalows. And the rondevals now. And the rondevals. And we're staying at the rondevals right now. We were at the overwater bungalow before. This one's the French and they've got this big giant pool. We are at the wedding chapel, which is so cool here. It's right over the water. It's like an overwater bungalow almost, but it's a chapel. And then as you're walking down the aisle, this is the coolest part. You're walking over glass. How fun is that? This is the main pool of all of Sandals, and you've got like restaurants over here, the main area, and then there's also a swim up bar back there. So. This is like where it's happening. Our place though is all the way down there. So it's actually a pretty big property and I would say it's more exciting entertainment down on this end and then the farther down you go, the more quiet and secluded it becomes. There's nine different restaurants here on the property that you can go to. There's sushi, there's Italian, French, Mediterranean, Italian, jerk. They have Asians. So they're just like a bunch of different options and, which makes it nice because if you're here for a couple days you can try each of them and they also have an app here which is how I knew how many there were. They've got the menus on there and then you can book water sports or know about anything which we've actually really enjoyed because then you don't have to ask around you can just like go into the app and figure out what you want to do. Hello. I hear tennis courts over there too. Should we go play? No, you you crush me. You know that Sydney won state in high school? I did not win state. I played in state. I did not win. <laughs> she won. <laughs> we were not able to get onto a small sailboat, but they said they could take us out on a motorboat. So here's the craft. We're jumping on this bad boy. We're gonna go check out the reef. So we just got back from the boat trip and we came back to the room because we need to get changed and ready for tonight. We are going out to do a dinner on the beach. Look at this. Wait, oh my gosh. Is this part of it? Wow, this is so nice. Oh, this is from our butler, Sam. He's the sweetest. Look at this too. There's like a little bubble bath for us. I think we must be cursed. Every time that we get ready to dress up and go out to dinner here, it starts to rain. We were supposed to do our romantic candlelit dinner tonight, but I don't think it's gonna happen. It's kind of a downpour here. So instead we decided to set it up in our room and we've got uh, flowers and we're out by the pool which changes colors. So it'll be a vibe still. It's been a pleasure and I will see you guys next week. Alright, hey. until then. <laughs> look more. Yeah man. That's it for Jamaica. We're taking off now. Feel free to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed our trip here and where to next? We don't know, but it'll be an adventure. <laughs>